One to 1.5% of people in industrial nations suffer from chronic wounds, such as pressure ulcers, vascular leg ulcers, and diabetic foot ulcers. Besides being a high burden on the patient, these wounds can also generate high costs for the healthcare system. But why are chronic wounds such a challenge? Wound infections are a major factor. It is estimated that more than 50% of all chronic wounds are infected. Wound infections are caused by microbials such as bacteria, which do not only like to multiply, they also produce biofilm. Biofilm forms when free-floating bacteria adhere to surfaces and grow a colony. This colony excretes a thick and slimy substance, an extracellular polymeric substance which consists of polysaccharides, protein, and other elements. Biofilm can also release bacteria which form new colonies in nearby areas. The biofilm acts like a shield for the bacteria and protects it from many antimicrobials, including antibiotics, and from the host's immune system as well. So there can be a constant threat of a chronic wound infection. To prevent the development of wound infections and to promote wound healing, it is important to remove the biofilm and achieve an effective wound bed preparation. The Prontosan range provides a smart solution to effectively cleanse the wound of biofilm, slough, and debris. Moreover, the special combination of ingredients reduces the biofilm and also impedes its reformation. The two main ingredients in Prontosan's solution are polyhexanide and undicylinamido-propylbetaine. To keep it simple, we call it betaine. Betaine is a surfactant. Let's have a look at how a surfactant works. A surfactant molecule basically consists of a hydrophilic, water-attracting head and a water-repelling, hydrophobic tail. Since the tail doesn't like water, it searches for another place to go, which here is our biofilm. The polar heads of these surfactant molecules have the same electric load, and therefore they repel each other. This is how the biofilm breaks up. Several of these surfactant molecules bind to the biofilm and build micelles, which can then be removed from the wound bed much more easily. In this way, betaine has in essence opened the door for the supportive effect of polyhexanide in Prontosan, which can now act against the bacteria. Polyhexanide, or PHMB, is used as an antimicrobial substance. It is able to attack and destroy various types of microorganisms. Gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria are protected by a cell wall, whereas human cells are surrounded by a cell membrane. These bacteria can cause serious diseases and are resistant to antibiotics and antiseptics. A bacterial cell wall has a negative charge, while the PHMB molecule has several positive charges, which makes PHMB act like a magnet, attaching itself to different areas of the cell, starting with the negatively charged outer cell wall. PHMB binds itself to the cell wall through electrostatic interaction. The cell wall breaks open and begins to leak where the PHMB molecules attack. This results in the cytoplasm exiting the cell, which quickly causes the bacteria to die. PHMB attacks, breaks down, and destroys bacteria. Due to its positive charge, it also supports the barrier effect on the wound, as it helps prevent bacterial cells from adhering to the wound surface. No bacteria, no pathogenic biofilm. In summary, betaine breaks up biofilm and opens the door for polyhexanide to act against bacteria and to interfere with the reformation of biofilm. That's why Protazon is a smart solution, not only for an effective wound bed preparation, but also to help prevent wound infections.